Simulation is an education technique that mimics real life scenarios in a safe learning environment and helps to develop provider competency. Simulation based training is a bridge between cognitive skills based learning and real life clinical experience. It is beneficial for obtaining essential skills and develop critical thinking needed for competent healthcare providers, be it doctors, nurses, midwives or paramedics. Simulation sessions typically consist of pre-briefing the case, running the scenario and debriefing. Using real-life case scenarios, learners are faced with typical situations they would encounter in clinical practice. Performance is then reflected upon for future improvements during the debriefing sessions. Learning in a clinical setting at the outset poses risks. Also, in a real emergency situation, it is bound to be difficult to teach and learn when the primary focus is on life-saving. In addition to frequently seen cases, simulation provides exposure to rare diseases, critical cases, near misses and crisis situations that may not be experienced during clinical training. It helps to develop practical skills, clinical reasoning and integrates theory with communication techniques. The most important part of simulation is debriefing, since the most valuable learning opportunities are largely presented during these sessions. By reflecting on their own performance, learners gain powerful insights into their actions, how they work and how they communicate. Debriefing also helps to reinforce learning objectives and to identify where improvements can be made. It is important to note that the debrief is not about an individual, it is always about the team. We need to see a difference because at the end of the training, no matter what kind of training we give, it will only be measured by the success at the bedside. The simulation helps in each person knowing what is going to be their roles in that situation. And that's why the simulation training help because then you have to work as a team. In health, the major challenge is basically trained man manpower. So if you have a very good team, you can really produce great results. One professional cannot help or save lives. It's a team which is very, very important. If there's a preparedness, it's no more an emergency.